Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida, and today I want to show you around this 2018 Coachman Catalina 323 BHDS. This is the Legacy Edition, and it has got all of the newest mid-2018 upgrades on it. So uh, we're going to show you around, show you the floor plan, show you some of the features on this trailer. So let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and start our tour of this Coachman Catalina here on the inside of the trailer. Uh, it's a 2018 Coachman Catalina 323 BHDS CKLE. So that is a mouthful, but that's the official full uh, model number of this one. Um, and basically the 323 BHDS is a uh, two slide travel trailer. Uh, it's a 33 foot living area and the overall length between the ball and the bumper is 35 foot 10 inches long. It weighs about 7,500 pounds empty and it is a great, uh, it's a, by far one of our most best-selling Catalina models. Uh, it's it's towable by most half-ton pickup trucks, uh, newer Fords and things like that. Uh, we, uh, we sell a whole lot of this model and we load all of these up. This is a, a legacy edition so it has all the features on it. And uh, what I'm going to do in this tour is take you through the interior first and show you the layout of the 323 as well as some of the features and also some of the options that we've put on it and some of the new features for the mid-year 2018 update. So we have some really cool neat stuff that they've added now. So kind of starting, uh, we'll just go ahead and start right up in the very front. We'll go up into the master bedroom and we've got uh, a queen size bed uh, with a reversible comforter. You can go either black or uh, brown. You've got a, a foam mattress, a firm foam mattress, which is uh, going to be better than the cheap um, inner springs that are just really terrible. Uh, these are a firm mattress but can easily be softened up with a uh, with a, uh, a mattress topper or something like that but at least you have some good support with them. They are a good quality mattress. Under here we have a storage area um, that's uh, good for large items. Uh, we've got hanging storage on either side of the bed, uh, nightstands on either side with uh, an outlet on both sides, and we have uh, cabinetry up above the bed that's fully enclosed. Uh, it's an area where a lot of times you'll see only a shelf, but in, uh, the, uh, in the Legacy Edition we do have the uh, full cabinetry. Uh, all throughout the whole trailer we have Congolium vinyl flooring in a wood look. Uh, very nice looking floor, very durable floor, good quality Congolium brand I'm sure you recognize. The only place we have any carpet at all is on the slide out uh, which is necessary uh, and all manufacturers do that. Up here we have uh, the focal point of the living area which is the entertainment center and fireplace. Uh, up above we have some storage up here with decorative uh, art glass, uh, black art glass, uh, 32 inch uh, flat screen television, high definition television uh, area here to keep your remotes or whatever you might want to put there. And we do have a DVD AM FM CD uh, entertainment system here. This will play DVDs so there's no reason to have an extra DVD player to watch videos on the television. We also wire this up so that the output of the sound from the television can be output through this stereo and you can play it through the ceiling speakers which gives you a much higher quality sound than the speakers on the television. Uh, new for the 2018 upgrade, uh, this now has Bluetooth audio so you can sync your phone to it uh, inside or outside the trailer and you're not going to even have to plug in an aux cable. Uh, you've got a USB port as well on the front uh, but it's a really really nice stereo system. Down below we have our electric fireplace with the simulated stone surround which is a very convincing uh, looking um, uh, stone. It, it looks just, it looks almost completely real and you just have to kind of tap on it and you can tell. Um, got a really nice flame, like of course right now it's the middle of August so we do not need any extra heat here in Florida. Uh, we just have this on uh, as a light up feature. It looks nice and cozy and things like that. But also if you do need it for heat, it will heat up the trailer very, very nicely. Uh, that is what we call it as free heat because you're not using your propane when you're at a campground.
around, you're, you're getting the electric for free. So that's always the first option you should probably want to use uh, before you have to use your propane. We do have a furnace that's floor ducted, which will, uh, is, you know, ducted through the whole trailer. So if you need that, you're going to be able to certainly keep nice and warm. Coming over here, we have a jackknife sleeper sofa, or just a jackknife sofa, which will make uh, let down for sleeping. And this is uh, the mocha color, which is our most popular color. It is a dark, uh, a dark mocha espresso chocolate brown, like real, real deep brown, almost black. Very, very popular uh, together with the cream and brown uh, window treatments uh, with some black in it. It makes a nice contemporary look and it's been holding up really great to, to kids. This, this 323 is a bunk bed floor plan and it's very popular with families and they need some, uh, family always needs to have durable fabrics and these have been holding up very well. Uh, we've got more cabinetry up above with the nice art glass inserts in those as well. Coming over here to the kitchen, we have our double bowl sink with uh, under our double double bowl sink in our countertop with and it's an undermount sink. So you've got the custom uh, sink covers which recess in nicely and makes for extra work area if you need it. Uh, you've got a nickel high rise faucet and the countertops are all thermofoil which is a um, performs much more like a solid surface countertop and is far higher quality than a uh, Formica top with the T-molding on the front. There, this is virtually waterproof. You're never going to have any problems with uh, water splashing out or water, God forbid, any water leak around the window or anything like that. You're not going to have to worry about the, uh, the swelling up. Uh, it, is, it is very waterproof. Um, down below we've got our bank of drawers. These are all solid wood. There is no press board in these at all and they've got nice roller bearing, ball bearing glides on them. Uh, got a nice bank of three drawers beneath. Um, got some storage here underneath the sink. Uh, over here we have a stainless steel front oven with a three burner cooktop and we've also got a nice glass cover for the cooktop which is much nicer than the old metal tops and uh, you got you know a high output burner here I believe and these are regular output and when you put this down it can also double as a workspace so far more durable to use for that so you end up really getting uh, some extra usage out of the amount of counter space that you have. You've got got a knife storage uh, compartment back here. You put the blades of the knife down in there and we have a real uh, ceramic and glass tile backsplash. This is not wallpaper or, or fake stuff. That's the real deal right there. So really nice upgrade. Uh, this is a different color for the mid-2018 upgrade. So it is a little different than it was before. I like it better. Uh, we've got a stainless steel hood and we've got a stainless steel microwave. Over here we have our Norcold double door refrigerator. It's fully automatic. All you do is turn it on and off. It's going to switch between propane and electric as needed. Um, again, we've got the Congolium wood look flooring, which is nice. This has the nice big U-shaped dinette. Um, you can drop this down uh, onto this little ledge and make a sleeping area here. And it's something that's larger than a twin bed and smaller than a full-size bed. So really nice, comfortable sleeping. If you fill up the bunk bedroom and you need extra, this is a nice place to sleep. We also have pleated shades throughout the living area. Uh, really nice pleated shades. That was a nice upgrade about a year or so ago. All LED lighting throughout. These are cool to the touch and use far less power than the incandescent lights that they had before. Plus they're a nice, uh, they look like a uh, recessed type light uh, you'd have in your home. A very sleek design that they've done. Coming on into the bathroom, uh, one of the features that's nice is we've got the extra entry door. I'll talk a little bit more about that more on the outside. Uh, down below we have our foot flush toilet. We have a uh, storage beneath the vanity, uh, sink, mirrored medicine cabinet up here. Uh, 
and a bathtub. So the bathtub is popular uh, when you have the family coaches. Uh, for the little ones, you've got a nice little bathtub there, uh, a nice shower curtain, and a skylight, so you bring in a lot of natural light here in the bathroom. And we do have our uh, roof vent, our powered, uh, ele it's an electric roof vent, so you can uh, use that when you're taking a shower or using the restroom to uh, get the uh, the smells or the uh, humidity out of there so it'll it'll pull it right out got a nice sized um, uh, uh, storage area here for kitchen items uh, put a lot of food in there got plenty of storage in this this one down here is your converter and your uh, you've got your breakers and your fuses and then coming back into what's always the kids' favorite, we've just taken a family on a, we're showing a family of uh, I think four four uh, people uh, this trailer a bit ago, and the kids came back here and were playing around, and a little girl came up and said, "Mommy, mommy, I want this one." So the kids love this room. You've got a nice little. Uh, ladder to come up to the bunk bed up here so you've got one bunk over here another bunk over here and these are able to be folded up out of the way during the day so if you want to use this area down here uh, you don't stand up and hit your head so those latch in securely and then these are called a koa cube a koa cube and these fold out and will come out like this it's sort of like a foam futon and you can sleep a couple of people here on the floor so you've got the capability to very easily sleep four people back here plus one to two people in the booth dinette and another person on the sofa and then two more in the master bedroom that brings you up to eight to nine people uh, comfortably in this trailer so that's part of the reason it's so popular um, over here you got room for another television some storage below that great place to put maybe a game system for the kids if it's a rainy day outside or something like that we've got one two three four windows back here so there's plenty of natural light coming in and you do not have to worry about extra heat coming in on this model because we have included the second air conditioner a feature that many 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 dealers I would say the vast majority of dealers do not bring in that second air conditioner um, even here in Florida where we really need it um, once you've got the trailer cool you may be able to get by most of the time with the one air conditioner up front which is ducted and does come back into this bedroom but having the second air conditioner back here really makes it to so you can get it icy cold in here in a matter of no time uh, this is a, again a non-ducted unit so if you don't need it you turn it off and you've still got an air conditioning duct feeding this room uh, we can talk to you more about how to do your your management of cooler you can cover these up if you're if you're running this if, if need be but um, it gives you a lot of nice flexibility we still upgrade the front air conditioner to a 15,000 BTU so you've got the maximum amount of cooling and that comes along with being a 50 amp coach. Uh, it does not th have 30 amp power, it's 50 amp power, so you can run both airs at one time as long as you have a 50 amp source. This, this uh, extra air conditioner does have its own thermostat on this wall over here, um, and you do have a privacy door to close off the area uh, right here. Uh, not a curtain, but a, a nice solid door so that you can close that area off. So in the morning, if mom and dad are up a little bit earlier, want to cook some breakfast inside or outside, uh, watch TV, the kids can stay back here. So really, really great um, floor plan. Like I said, our best-selling floor plan. Uh, we love to get these and they've been very hard to get lately because they're they're in demand and we're having to wait an unusually long amount of time to get them uh, coachman Catalinas have just exploded in the last year or so so if you're interested in it don't hesitate to call us uh, but that's the inside of the trailer let's go ahead and continue our tour on the outside Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour here on the outside of this 2018 Coachman Catalina 323BHDS CK uh, Legacy Edition. Uh, I'm right now back in uh, probably the most popular feature of this floor plan. It's the outdoor camp kitchen. Uh, in addition to the outdoor camp kitchen, the, BA, uh, the 323 model is about 35 foot 10 inches long. Uh, it's got two slide outs. Now that 35 foot 10 inches long is from the very tip of the ball 
or the, the front hitch at the ball to the very back bumper. So 35 foot 10 inches long, it's a 33 foot floor plan. And then this is our large outdoor camp kitchen. Uh, what you've got is a nice big electric refrigerator here. You've got the same quality cabinetry and countertops you have on the inside of the trailer. You got the thermofoil countertop, which is extremely water resistant as opposed to having a Formica top with a T molding on the front. If it does get a little bit of rain back here, it shouldn't hurt anything as far as the countertop goes. You got your wood cabinetry, all solid wood drawers. Uh, the glides out here are a little different. Uh, you've just got a, a more of a plastic guide, so not quite the same hardware as you've got on the inside of the trailer, but all of the cabinetry is of the same quality. Uh, all screwed and glued, not stapled together cabinetry. It's got the same um, lumber core and solid hardwood doors. Uh, really nice stuff. Over here is a nice Coleman grill which uh, will slide in and out. Uh, you've got an outlet. Um, you've got an outlet back here, right here, so you could plug in a, a crock pot or maybe even what I've suggested to a lot of customers is take this take this grill, put it over on the uh, over on the picnic table or someplace a little further away from the trailer for your grilling and put a uh, electric uh, griddle in here, uh, which would be great for cooking up breakfasts and stuff like that. So I can just always uh, kind of envision myself sitting out here in the mornings making breakfast and uh, eggs and bacon and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's just a really, really nice outdoor camp kitchen. Uh, you've also got light out here. You've got the nickel finish high-rise faucet just like on the inside and your sink here is a plumbed in sink. It's got its own uh, holding tank back here. Back on the back, uh, there's not a whole lot to show you, but we do have the spare tire which we equip all of them with and then we also have the pre-wiring for the Furion uh, wireless backup monitor system which is uh, a very simple install if you'd like that. Uh, we can take care of it. We keep them in stock and it's a super de easy thing to put in. We we can do it for you or at any time later if you want to do that upgrade. It's very easy to do on your own. Um, the 323 does have that second entry that goes into the uh, bathroom uh, like you saw in the other um the, uh, the inside portion of this tour. What's nice about that is the kids don't have to be tracking through the living area of the trailer or letting the cool air out in the hot summers uh, when you've got this door directly into the bathroom. They can wash up or, or go use the bathroom with, uh, without going through the whole inside of the trailer. Uh, I'm underneath of our large uh, automatic or power uh, awning. You can see we've got our starlight system which is the blue LED lights uh, up above. And and we've also got blue LED lights down here under the trailer. I'll be right back. It all operates with a remote control, so you can, you can uh, retract and extend the awning with the touch of a button. And you can also dim your starlight system lights uh, with that, so it's fully dimmable uh, for both this lighting and the under uh, it's all tied into one, the under trailer lighting. So really, really nice feature. Uh, the blue lighting looks super nice at night and it also helps illuminate the step area. So when you are entering the trailer, if it's dark, you're going to get a better idea of, the, of your footing. Uh, out here we got our hot water heater. This is both a gas and electric hot water heater. So you do have electric the back side of your refrigerator, your furnace. A little thing, I, you know, I don't always talk about it on the outside tours on these Catalinas, but one thing they do that I think is a nice upgrade is you've got an aluminum uh, fender uh, wheel molding as opposed to plastic. This is never going to get brittle and crack. Uh, if it ever gets a little discolored or anything like that, you just get some, some metal polish and buff it out. And if you want to spend some time, you can get practically a, uh, a mirror finish on this if you really wanted to sit and buff around on it. Uh, we've got our, our tires here with the new sport rims and this is an e-coat wheel, which means that's a dipped wheel. It's dipped in an anti-corrosion paint rather than sprayed. Uh, so the, the amount of rust that you'll get with that is almost eliminated compared to a sprayed wheel. So far, of all the ones that we've sold, I've never seen an e-coat wheel on a Coachman Catalina come back with a stitch of rust. When I see one for maintenance or, or a warranty or anything like that, 
We've never seen any rust on them. And in contrast to the white painted wheels that a lot of manufacturers use, those get rusty in a matter of no time. So it's a really, really great wheel. You got your freshwater fill here, and one of the nicest upgrades for the mid-year 2018 changes is the black water tank flush. So when you need to empty your sewer tank, you hook a water hose to this. You don't use your drinking water hose, but hook another water hose to this, turn it on, and it's going to flush all of the, uh, the dirty stuff out of your or a sewer tank so it gives you a much cleaner wash when you are uh, cleaning out that sewer tank. Um, coming on down here we've got our full pass through storage bay so we've got that goes all the way through great place to put ladders or any big items like that and then up on the front of the trailer we've got a power tongue jack uh, the 20 pound LP cylinders. This is the only upgrade that we do not add. We don't go to the 30 pound cylinders. We can certainly get in them if you're interested in it. But the reason we go with 20 pounders is because it's very easy. If you're in a bind, you can go swap those out at Home Depot, Walmart, any place like that that does cylinder exchanges. You don't have to get the tank to a place to have it filled up. So it's very, very easy. Uh, you got your area for your battery compartment back here. Of course, it's going to come with a brand new battery battery. And one of the best features of the Catalina, I think, is the radius front end. This is aluminum, not fiberglass. Uh, you got diamond shield below, or I mean uh, diamond plate below, and then you've got this nice charcoal colored uh, aluminum on the front. I really do think that helps with cutting through the wind. It looks a lot nicer also, um, and it uh, holds up great. Uh, you got your four stabilizer jacks around uh, the trailer. I'm not going to show you the other side. There's really nothing to show you over there other than some sewer dumps and the slide outs, but uh, if you have any other questions about this uh, 323 uh, BHDSCK or any other Coachman Catalina model, please give us a call at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. My name is Brian, but whoever answers the phone is going to be glad to help you out. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I sure hope it's been helpful to you in making a decision on which travel trailer is right for you. Um, and you have a great day, and God bless.